Hi everybody and welcome. Today we have a fairly short video in which we're looking at the topic of map scales. We're going to have a look at a couple of situations that you might find in an exam. The first of those is where you were actually shown a picture of a map, maybe something like the one on the board here, um, and you are given a scale and you are asked to calculate the distance between the two places in a real life. The second situation is just the opposite, where you might be given the distance in real life between two towns and asked to use the scale to find out how far apart they would be on a map. Let's go. A map scale is used to tell us what a distance on a map is in real life. And I think the easiest way to show this is with an example. Take a look at the map here. We have two towns, Oldbury and Newtown, both marked on the map. What we want to know is how far those towns are in real life. And what helps us do this is the scale at the top. So the scale reads one centimetre equals five kilometres. And simply, all it is telling us is this first measurement here one centimeter on the map is the equivalent of five kilometers in real life. So in other words, every centimeter that we have on here is five kilometers in the real world. Let's have a look at this example then. I'm going to fetch a ruler and we use the ruler to simply measure the distance. So if we take this ruler, we put the zero at Oldbury and we position it so that we can see exactly how far away Newtown is. We are looking in this example at a distance of nine centimeters. Let's go back to the scale. Every centimeter is five kilometers. So we have nine centimetres times five equals 45 kilometres. So we know that Oldbury and Newtown are 45 kilometres apart. Another way to consider this is to say, OK, every centimetre on the ruler is five kilometres. So from naught to one is five and five and so on. Each centimetre is five kilometres. And when you've gone all the way between the two towns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fives, nine times five, 45 kilometres. Here's a question where we are asked to work out the opposite. We are given a real life distance and asked to calculate what it would be on a map. We do it a very similar way. Let's look again. A map is drawn to a scale of one centimetre to three kilometres. Notice they haven't put the equal sign in here. They've written the word to. It means exactly the same thing. So we have two towns that are 12 kilometres away from each other in real life. How far will they be on the map? Well, again, looking at the scale on the ruler here, we know that one centimeter is three kilometers. So one centimeter is three. The second centimeter is three, will be six. Third centimeter is three. And the fourth centimeter is three. So we have three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. There's your 12 kilometers on a map. One, two, three, four centimeters. I've moved the ruler because I want to have a look at another way that you might solve this problem. If you look again at the scale we have here, one to three, you can actually look at this as a ratio of one to three. So these are your centimetres, these are your kilometres. One centimetre to three kilometres. Now, we know the two towns are 12 kilometres away from each other. So if we put that into the ratio there, what do we have to look at for ratios? Well, we look at one side of the ratio and ask ourselves what has happened here. Well, the three has been multiplied by four. So on the other side of the ratio, we also have to multiply by four. So one times four is four. Therefore, 12 kilometers to four centimeters is an equivalent ratio of three to one. So the answer is four centimeters. And that is how we calculate using scales. 
Now, one thing that's worth mentioning is that there may be a situation in a question where not only are you asked to find the distance between two places on a map, you might also be asked to find the direction. Now, for that, you're going to have to have a look at bearings. And that's the reason I've chosen that video on my link on my right here for you to have a look at that topic as well. Thanks.